Let's talk about Yak Veni. Uh, who is he and how does he fit into the film? Uh, Yak is, uh, he doesn't know he's a bad guy. Uh, he thinks the renegades are the bad guys, right? But he's, he's about as bad as it gets. He's, uh, he's cold blooded, unhinged, unpredictable. Um, and he goes on to build a, a wonderful relationship with Gorham, who's the London kingpin, played by the outstanding Louis Mandalore. And those guys build a fantastic, strong, powerful dynamic on screen. Um, yeah, you know, they're, uh, they're not to be messed with. Looked like a lot of fun to film. I was only there in the background looking on, but you've got to sort of swagger about yourself when you're on set. I mean, it comes through in the character, I think. Was it that enjoyable? <laughs> Silly question. Yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, you know what the most enjoyable part was? It was, it was the cast, because it's such an ambitious cast. And on paper, um, you know, on paper, you, you think, this is nuts. You know, the six million dollar man meets uh, Danny Trejo, meets Denzel from Only Balls and Horses, yeah, amongst others, and they go on to, to wreak havoc on the world. Uh, and where else do you actually get to see that? But I should say, actually, that um, the writer Tom Joloff and uh, producer Jonathan Sofcott did uh, well, an amazing coup in getting these guys together and under one roof, along with the, where is it, is it here? Uh, action movie director uh, genius uh, Mr Daniels are really here did a fantastic job it was an 80s mission well and truly uh, accomplished good stuff well I hope you enjoy tonight you deserve it it's an uh, amazing film congrats man good to see you again.